And we are back and moving into our first conversation for this morning. Can you believe it? Uh, we had an extended catch up on the weekend news and a part of that included uh, the continued watch and vigilance over the novel coronavirus. We've invited a medical professional internist, uh, Dr. Fernando Cuellar, with us this morning to help us understand uh, more about the virus and, and how it spreads. Good, Good morning. morning. Good morning, guys. Good morning, Good yes. morning Doc. Good. So we know you love keeping up with new information <laughs> and there has been a lot of information Super. about this new virus. Yeah. Um, and so we got to start off by being able to explain to people um, or explain to all of us just mm -hmm. why uh, corona, what coronavirus itself is. Okay. Let's start there. Let me do my best to, to see how we can clarify some. In coronavirus, mm -hmm. corona crown, look like one crown under the electron microscope. Mm -hmm. It's a new virus, but they're not a new family of virus because okay. we've had it all over the world and in Belize before, mm -hmm. no, a cousin. Yeah. We, we've had the cousins before, so this is like you come across one long last cousin, yeah. which um, you finally get to know after this day of time. Um, it's a virus that first was in the animal kingdom, per mm -hmm. se. Uh, we still debatable if it really did a snake or a rat bat, mm -hmm. but it has moved from the animal kingdom into the human kingdom now, mm -hmm. and yeah. that's what the problem is. No? Yeah. Um, and of course, when something new, it brings a lot of fear and yeah. panic and what mm -hmm. have you, justifiably so. Um, we know where parties start from, and thank God, and um, the country has invested a lot of resources into trying to contain it as much as possible. Mm -hmm. I get a lot of questions, and just now, just before we went on, we've been asking something, oh, you know somebody got coronavirus. Um, you can't know just by looking at them. Mm -hmm. You can't know by examination because you have a cousin there, you have a, a, a neighbors there, like the flu mm -hmm. and the command cold, which you can have basically the same symptoms. No? Yeah. You can have runny nose, stuffy nose, sore throat, fever. They're like if you're going to come and call or a yeah. flu. Um, but it transition. Um, the, the problem is, and it happens in, in flu too. You develop pneumonias, you mm -hmm. develop your, your, your lung feel, yeah. and, and that will kill you. No? So that is what has been happening. And unfortunately, uh, we don't have one specific treatment for it. Mm -hmm. So you have to battle it yeah. as much as, as best as you can. No? And, and that's a question I had, because it is a new virus, but from a family that we know. Mm -hmm. um, so in other words, it, it is I want to say a strain of flu. You can correct me if I'm wrong. No, we don't want to mix words. Okay. So we don't want so it's a strain that causes flu-like symptoms. Correct. Mm -hmm. Now, what, what, is, what is the concern when a virus that has never been in humans before makes that transition? Why, why does the whole uh, global health community go on alert? Because it's new. That's the basic thing. We don't know how, how, um, how much mortality it can cause. Mm -hmm. Like if the two owner catch it, the two are dead, one okay. are dead, no, 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 are dead. So all of this newness about it is what makes us wonder, no? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and we can only talk about it the more the, the period goes on, and we yeah. see 800 deaths, 35,000 infected, that kind of thing. Yeah. So that the newness of it makes us yeah. makes us scared, no? And well, so, I have a question because while we're looking at the mortality rate in its most preliminary aspect. Does it help that it has since been declared uh, an epidemic and something that is of global threat, considering the fact that not that many people have died of it, if you look at it from that point of view? Right. That has helped tremendously. No? That has, I, and this is the, the meat of the matter is that to fight this new virus, prevention better than cure. So mm -hmm. you try to contain it. The whole public health, the whole China response to it has been, I think, commendable. Mm -hmm. um, of course, you get conspiracy theories that they know they report all yeah. uh, that they should and blah 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 but you could see effort being made to contain it so it doesn't we know it till one year pass and then they say you know what this is a really bad virus and then it yeah. kill the percentage of thousands yeah. and so forth no yeah. so i think any and this won't be the last mm -hmm. and this is mm -hmm. one of the points i want to make today this won't be the last so as a country mm -hmm. we should learn from this we yeah. should use this as and and, and Make Ministry of Health and government not, not catch feelings if anybody criticizes them, but use it mm -hmm. as an yeah. exercise and not stop there. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. I had to say every three years we have one exercise, even though we don't have mm -hmm. yeah. one, one, one epidemic on our pandemic. Just like on a state of readiness. State type of, of readiness. Thing. Make sure that you show the Belizean people we we, we semi prepared, we mm -hmm. half prepared. We'll never be fully prepared because mm -hmm. even the richest countries in the world can be fully prepared. But mm -hmm. some level of readiness yeah. and show, not just say it, but show it. Mm -hmm. Listen, we got we got this. We are house with so much hazmat suits. Mm -hmm. We got so much ventilators, we don't yeah. know where, where we're putting our people, we don't know that they're going perhaps the BDF camp and we don't mm -hmm. know that they could set up a Isolation big tent area. And, yeah. and then kind of thing, don't know in place. And you could see the confusion will happen over the weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, being nice, uh, miscommunication. We're not misinformation though. It's about, yeah. about who and flag the people eh, if mm -hmm. they're immigration or if they're American airlines or mm -hmm. so, okay. But clearly, it never got smooth. So let's mm -hmm. learn from it. Yeah. Not, not start to require amongst each other and, mm -hmm. and, and, and anything. But make we have a good clear cut. Yeah. I, 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 I know here people like Nemo involved, mm -hmm. OK? Mm -hmm. This is a national emergency a, thing. Yeah, we don't hear we don't hear agriculture involved. Mm -hmm. We don't hear we don't hear one whole I'll be here likely so. I mean we should have one. And then here the minister say anything, mm -hmm. basically. Mm -hmm. This should have be one I would have think this should have been one national crisis where by no one need cabinet meeting we could have helped just yeah. have, but no worry about, well, about okay, things. I don't know okay. if you call it a crisis yet, but at least no. address the public. Exactly. You know, get ahead of it. You know why you know why the beach chicken little need that said if sky is yeah. falling is, okay? Mm -hmm. But yeah. give it Lee more than what I think one mm -hmm. lukewarm, warmish yeah. kind of response to it. Okay? And I have to be clear because we, we've done quite a few interviews and I, I can't neglect to say that we do know they have, they have the surveillance system in place. We do know they get the um, manifesto as to who's coming. So they did know that these people were coming and from China. And it was tested. And, and they were work. tested. Yeah, the surveillance system, the response system was tested, has been tested mm -hmm. at the different borders and yeah. cruise ships and so forth. I sure we could do better. Yeah. I sure well, we could I think do the information we could always part do better. is mm. what we need to. I mean, because people are scared. People are scared because they see and hear these numbers coming out. Um, you, you spoke of it earlier. It's new, so we don't know what to expect. We hear people dying, but we don't necessarily put it into context. And we do know, I said it earlier in the eye opener, we know we're lesser resourced than a China or a US. Um, so I think that's where kind of the, the preliminary fear comes from. But from your observations and what's been revealed so far, so the, the Wuhan virus or the uh, novel coronavirus was flagged end of December, early January. So we're almost a month and a half in. What do we know so far about the virus? Who's more susceptible? Who dies from it? What's right. the rate as to um, those who get it severely and those who die from it? Yeah, good question. Um, it's the el people who are vulnerable that mm -hmm. one will die from it mostly. Mm -hmm. Okay, people who are elderly, who have other types of diseases yeah. alongside it, diabetes, um, heart disease, all of that kind of thing. I uh, saw so the person where you know, 27, 35, 45, you know, have no other, other condition, even if they catch it, mm -hmm. they have more chances of surviving like, from it than yeah. people with elderly and sick already. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's a good mm -hmm. thing. Um, and like I said, a lot more people who can catch it and survive from it than die from it. So mm -hmm. we shouldn't be that like just because you got a coronavirus, you are dead. Mm -hmm. okay? mm -hmm. That that that, that mm -hmm. straightforward information everybody for know. And the best thing that for prevent mm -hmm. and listen to the official and stop the mess with Facebook and <laughs> and then kind of nonsense. Mm -hmm. um, and we're in as, the flu season, so it makes people more fearful. Exactly. When you 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 you, you go to a health center, you you go and say, "Listen, I can have a flu or a cold like mm -hmm. symptom. Please give me a mask, mm -hmm. so I know that run spread the risk it. of spread it. Mm -hmm. Even if they're not going to offer you, please, mm -hmm. um, the taxi man, if you got one passenger, he drop in the car. <laughs> I don't know if you care up the rate of the taxi, but have <laughs> a mask, no? Yeah. And everybody wash their hand and then things. So mm -hmm. then those things are important, but. We as a, um, a country should have already set things in place that everybody know what mm -hmm. this yeah. is where we are. And that way, sometimes the, the scare comes even more. Okay? You mentioned that the coronavirus um, is more, perhaps there's a higher mortality amongst the elderly. Wouldn't you say the same for children who perhaps don't mm -hmm. have that 
proper strong enough immune, immune system, system to be able to bottle that's a, a very smart deduction mm -hmm. you know, I mean and I didn't say it I, I mm -hmm. tend to be more biased towards adults because <laughs> I practice adult medicine mm -hmm. I know there's a lot of information come out about children so but that's mm -hmm. a very valid thing not that yeah. small children medium size with the mm -hmm. immune system not that strong yeah. then they would be at a risk no but I know see mm -hmm. the concrete numbers adults and children and so forth no mm -hmm. at the end yeah. of the day it mess up their lungs yeah and they can't breathe they have to put them on a machine mm -hmm. and and some response some don't respond yeah mm -hmm. okay how um, different is this kind of um are these types of complications from a regular flu um we're not sure yet but but we do have people who die from flu Mm. I mean the same thing. About a hundred. Yeah, exactly. So, and, and not because coronavirus is in tongue or in thing mean that Mr. Flu wants to sit on by his yeah. side and make him take over the show. He's still there. Mm -hmm. So anybody who exhibiting any or showing any sign of respiratory stuffiness, sneezing, coughing, fever, you should be responsible and say, listen, I'm not going to work, um, then kind of things. Is it safe to say that the coronavirus has similarities to the SARS of 2003. Yeah, then a cousin, then a first yeah. cousin mm -hmm. picture from the virus itself, no? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they cause the same problems where we eventually lead to respiratory yeah. failure and death. Mm -hmm. Aren't they okay. all the same family, SARS, MERS, Middle Eastern? They have, they have seven different types yeah. of coronavirus. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Number seven, that the new one, the Novo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. But the six ones before, they, that they, 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 they bred actually, mm -hmm. cousin. <laughs> I guess this gives us a great opportunity mm -hmm. to, to kind of dispel one of the, th there's a lot of conspiracy theories that, that people have been developing. One has been, you know, you pick up your bottle of Lysol, you pick up your bottle of Dettol, and it says kills coronavirus. So people are saying, how is it a new virus yeah. if it's on these things? Because it made the tabo, you bread, it? Mm -hmm. It made the tabo, it's a new strain. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What, what, what are some of the, the I mean, you're in, you're in private practice, so. Um, and public practice. And in, okay, so, but especially in the private practice, how do you participate to complement what's taking place publicly? Good question. Um, we actually had a early exercise last week. We had a, a, a case, and mm -hmm. we are unprepared, like everything else, mm -hmm. and it, it to get things in place. Um, but definitely, we can't handle um, a case in a private setting. No, we would prefer to transfer them to a already part of the. You see that the, we are part of the plan. We are part mm -hmm. of the. the the operation, okay? So if we identify one, we will have one, okay. We don't have the isolation um, set up, yeah. mm -hmm. okay? So that, okay. I don't know that if I, you know, I have a, 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 a very suspicious case that I know where part I want to send this patient to, mm -hmm. how we are sending them to, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah. Then kind of thing, and that isn't so much in place as yet. So let me start with the private setting because the public people, I get catch feelings when you talk about that. But the private is also ill-prepared, more ill-prepared. Because that thing needs a lot of resources, no? Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah. it it we say it, we we the, uh, we the tell our nurses, for example, in the clinic area, if you see anybody the cough, go off and one one mask, mm -hmm. ask them. So and if we have any hospital, we have a lot of we see a lot of foreigners in the in the um in the uh -huh. private setting. So we mm -hmm. have to put things in place. We had an exercise that we have fine tuned since then last week. No? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. But we have to work hand in hand with the public. Yeah. yeah, with the public health sector. Yeah. Okay. And 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 we were saying earlier, you know, it's 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 one thing for people to go into a, a clinic or a private clinic mm -hmm. and and feel concerned about uh, the flu-like symptoms they have, but really the first catchment has to be at those border points yeah. as much as possible. Yeah. So um, we keep on paying attention to that. But how do you when when somebody when you hear people being very concerned? And you said it very clearly early on you don't want to pay attention to rumors as much as finding official information how do you what do you say to people to help to temper their fears as a physician well be open be open with them be um, aware that you can get these kinds of questions there's no stupid question there's mm -hmm. no silly question mm -hmm. you expect you expect one big time ask you one certain way you expect one man on the ground ask you another way and be able to be able to communicate at each level no mm -hmm. and, and share that information and try to guide them um, amongst that one other thing i i am particularly and, and this served for me personal because mm -hmm. like i said i do the critical care part i would deal with the patients in the most critical condition we have a lot of health workers yeah. who will be involved and i want to extra protection for them don't just give me a suit but ensure that if i did 
<laughs> that my family will take. So well, special yeah. insurances sure. from Policy them, from them because, yeah. I mean, it's one thing being exposed on a plane, for example, mm -hmm. but when you're there in a warm, when yeah. a confirmed case mm -hmm. and that body full of virus, yeah. you would want to stand a chance. Workers so healthcare are the workers are the first defense. I think we need for 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 um, advocate yeah. stronger for you know. Okay. That's a tough. Uh, it appears to be a tough sell though in terms of What's that? you know getting the insurance companies or all these other bodies, these entities on mm -hmm. board. With no private insurance company will, uh, will give up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what you call it? Uh, one policy yeah. against yeah. SARS or yeah. thing. But I talk about the public, not yeah. the public. The public insurance. No? But what you that if I did, then I know that my family um, mm -hmm. will be fine. Care okay? of, yeah. And every healthcare worker. Mm -hmm. okay? What you have said, I think, is, is one of the, the points that, that perhaps we can close off with. The coronavirus is, is the now global scare. You know, there was SARS, there was MERS, there was H1N1, there was Ebola, there was Zika, there was chikungunya. There's always something new emerging. Um, and it, it means that we must constantly be alert as to what is taking place. Uh, from what we see taking place, especially in China, and the majority of the cases are in China, um, what do you think are some of the lessons that, that we are learning now that we can improve upon moving forward? Well, the main thing I think is the community buy-in. No? People, people yeah. have to be aware and, and be able to, to willing to participate. No? One thing that for ten and China man that one stay home and ten one coffee, mm. <laughs> stay home because coffee uh, react differently. Mm. Yeah. I, I, and I don't want to say it without shame. Yeah. Okay, mm. one culture is a bit more disciplined yeah. than the other one. So we, we, have to figure out, we have to figure out how we could get across to them yeah. 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 To, to think and be ready. Please make every three years we do this exercise. Take off one day mm -hmm. and say, you know what? Do we are declare, okay? Mm -hmm. And we don't wait for one other virus to come along. Every three mm -hmm. years, every two years, it, I, it, uh, nobody going to talk to me and say, oh, I know it costs money. Mm -hmm. But set aside one hundred thousand dollars to do all these simulation, make all mm -hmm. the immigration and police and everybody yeah. and community and schools and everybody. But like how set they it do mass every three uh, exactly yeah. simulations. And now wait to another one another thing yeah. along. Okay, yeah. I think that's one of the biggest lessons we could learn. And in the meantime, let's just try to prevent the flu-like symptoms right. in general, mm -hmm. right? And those include. See, people have been skeptical of. Oh, why are you just talking about washing your hands? Mm -hmm. Well, the wash hands brought some laugh because one of the officials had said, wash your hands for 20 minutes no? instead of 20 seconds. So that was, <laughs> a lot of that was a lot But of even from WHO, then but number wash hands one thing is. And, and the basic stuff, mm -hmm. and, and asking for a mask, and, and if, you're there, if you're sick, please let your work understand, make you stay home, mm -hmm. into school, that kind of thing. And stay home on two days, that was that was, that was more better investment than try to cure it afterwards. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Thank you very much for coming in and talking okay. to us about what we do know, what we have learned so far about the coronavirus. We're going to go ahead and take a break. When we come back, we'll be talking about Scouts Month. So please, stay tuned.